Let's take a look at some valid and invalid examples of if, elif, and else statements. Here's the first example. This is a valid Python program. Python evaluates the if test and all of the elif tests. They are all false, so Python executes the else body. Here's the second example. This is also valid. The if test is true, so Python skips the two elif statements as well as the else statement. Example 3. This is invalid. We cannot follow an else statement with another else statement. Example 4. This is also invalid. The if statement must be present before any elif and else statements. Example 5. This is also invalid. The if statement must be present before an else statement. Here's our final example. Notice that an if statement follows another if statement. This is perfectly valid. The two if statements do not affect each other. Let's try running this program. In lines 1 and 2, Python stores 0 in A and B. Then Python evaluates the if test at line 3. Since A is 0, the if test is true, and Python is going to execute the if body at line 4. At line 5 tab 0, Python encounters another if statement. An if statement always marks the beginning of a new if chain. Thus, Python ignores the control map and evaluates the if test. Since b is equal to 0, this if test is true, and Python is going to execute the assignment at line 6, tab 1. At the conclusion of the program, we have four variables a, b, c, and d. c is equal to 4, and d is equal to 8.